Ooh, check this out. It is raining hard. And here we go. Let me get my umbrella so that we can go out there and uh, see how everything is holding up. Wow. See that? See that? See the rain coming down? See, there are some. Wow, it's raining so hard that some of the water's getting inside, but that's okay because it's uh, like penetrating the uh, claw over here. So, some water is getting inside my um, dragon fruit, but it's not a lot. That is okay. And here we looking at the soil down there, so it's not a lot of water getting in there, which is good. I, I don't want uh, the soil to be all moist and stuff, so that's still all right. But look at this. This is like one of the harder rains today. I mean, it's been like this for you know this a whole month um, of January or you know late uh, uh, December. So you just see all the rain that's uh, landing on these. Uh, dragon fruit here. So as you know, this is not the native habitat. <laughs> so you see some uh, copper color going on. It, it, there's not really any problem here. It just, uh, you know, bothers your eyes. That's all it is, that little spot. I mean, once uh, spring comes or uh, summertime comes, it's gonna dry up and then it's just gonna, you know, I don't see a spot from uh, previous years, but yeah, I mean, it's gonna happen. And it's caused by the cold. There's nothing you can do about it. It's not a disease or, you know, anything. It's just too cold up here in the Northern California. So I have some other ones here. See, this one has a whole line of it. So this one I left it exposed just so you can, you know, so later on when I remove the covers on the other ones, you can see how, um, how much uh, coppering has happened on this uh, particular branch and then how little in the ones that's been covered. So I gotta, you know, be able to have uh, some way to compare it to show you. And um, I mean, this one is a beautiful line of copper, right? I mean, copper is my favorite color, just so you know. <laughs> yeah, but then I don't, I really don't want it on my plant. Yeah, but it's gonna make it look a little, um, you know, sore to the eye. But this is okay, right? A lot of coppering happening, but you know, this is why it's uh, raining a lot in Northern California, and um, these covers are helping. I mean, you know, you could let it uh, soak it all wet or you could do the best you can to help cover it. So far, I noticed that there's not a lot of coppering, copper happening inside these, even though I see a little bit of liquid in there. Remember, it's also cold that's causing it too. So here we are. So you can see the cloth all wet and it's dripping down, right? That's how it works. That's what I expected. So this is a test. This is my first year uh, putting on these covers. So I am testing it out and then see what happens uh, when spring comes, when I remove it, you know? So these are the ones that didn't get covered. I mean, there are some coppering at the edge here and uh, it's not too bad. It's held up all right. I mean, I was expecting a little bit more, but this is an older plant. So I think it also has some, something to do with your age of the plant. Uh, this particular um, Vietnamese white, I had it for, wow, good five, six years. So it's much older, so maybe that's why it's holding up better. As opposed to the newer ones, like I showed you earlier, that's only um, two years old. This is going, we're going into the second year. So I planted last year and it grew up. So it probably has something to do with the age of the plant. Uh, and that's where the um, coppering is happening. So here we are. I just want to show you. The sky is super gray. I mean, there's not no more wind. <laughs> My windmill's not moving. It's just all water. You know, it's interesting, right? Earth, wind, and water. Um, and today is just one of those water days. So I'm gonna show you something here. You see down there? <clears throat> so even uh, down there, that little one right there. This guy, that is my uh, princess of the night. It is just rotting away. So I'm just gonna take it out once the rain stops and I'm gonna plant something else in this place. I don't need um, so many uh, princess of the night. I trimmed it, but yet it's still kind of not holding up to the um, cold weather. It has not, it's not the water that's made it, made it turn like that. It's just the cold weather that did it. So I'm gonna take care of that guy. All right, so here we are. Oh, just to let you know how much rain is falling. So see my gutter right here? It looks like it's gushing, right? That's how much water, rainwater is coming down right now. 
Boy, I, I think I could have saved all that, but eh, I don't need that much water. <laughs> Dragon fruit doesn't need a lot. All right, so there you go. A rainy day in Northern California, and here's my dragon fruits uh, trying to weather the storm.